All right, guys, we're in the lab, and we are about to revolutionize the baking process for pancakes. <laughs> we're innovating in the kitchen. You could say we're kitchen innovating. So the plan is simple. We want to minimize the amount of dishes that we can. I was at the gym today with my buddy, Zach. Shout out to Zach. He's getting pretty big. And we were just talking about making pancakes is kind of a hassle sometimes, right? There's just dishes and it's kind of annoying to clean up and all the gook is just stuck everywhere all the time, trying to get the shit off the whisk. It's a whole process. And so we were talking how you could get rid of the bowl and the whisk if you got a shaker cup and you just put everything in the shaker cup, shake it up and then put it onto the pan directly. Cause then you're only washing the pan, the spatula and the shaker cup. But we realized we could go even further and eliminate the pan completely as well. We're gonna try today to just make the whole thing in the shaker cup. <laughs> the plan is to put one serving of pancakes pretty much in the shaker cup, shake it up, put it in the microwave and then eat it with a spoon. Maybe pour some syrup on top as well. But that's kind of what we're going for today. The easiest pancake creation of all time with minimal dishes. We don't care really how it tastes. <laughs> we're going for real ease of access here. So let's get started. All right, so we're using Kodiak cakes today. Super good protein pancake recipe. On the back, if I can t twist this real quick, you just need one cup of Kodiak mix and three quarter cups of water, but you can substitute the water for milk to get more protein and calories in, as well as adding an egg. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do the milk and the egg, and we will see how it goes. These are the uh, ingredients, not a lot. I should have enough. I, I'm not sure if this will be enough for one serving, but I have another box just in case. But this should be uh, totally cool. Now we're gonna put one, one whole cup of uh, the powder in. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Looks like we're gonna have enough. Pop it off. Actually, this is perfect amount. It's kind of spilling a little bit, but ah, whatever. A little extra, never hurt anybody. This is actually bigger than the cup itself, so this might be a disaster. Seems to be fine-ish. If you just tease it in, it should be good. Just tease it in. If this does work out, I think that I could even upgrade the recipe by putting protein powder in this as well. If there's space, because that's my limit right now, space. But just based off this, this looks totally cool. I don't need this anymore. Gently place it there. I'll start with the milk and then we'll put the, uh, the egg in. Since we're minimizing the amount of dishes we want to make, I'm just going to eyeball this. We don't need a full cup. We're just going to do three quarter cup. See how my eyeballing skills can be. Don't think it's going to be the worst thing ever. That looks like about right. Let's pour her in. Easy peasy. That's it for that. All right. splash there. That's okay, not a lot escaped. Boom. Easy. So this is currently what we got. Shout out to Popeyes. It's just an egg inside with a bunch of milk and flour, kind of. Let's shake it. Whew, all right, it's been shaken. Let's bring it to the microwave. I'm just gonna kind of guess on how long to put it in. My mom suggested I look at these uh, build a cake in a mug type things and see how long they put it in for. They seem to put it in for like 10 minutes. <laughs> but that seems like quite a long time and I don't want my cup to melt. This is actually too tall. <laughs> I think if I lay it down, it should be fine. Let's see. Here we go. This is going to be interesting. Okay, I guess we'll just start with like, I don't know, five minutes. Does that sound good? If 
this blows up, then it's still content. But I would very rather not have to clean it up. So we'll see. All right, so I don't know if you can see this very well, but it's kind of just oozing out the, out the tip a little bit, which is fine. As a concept, it's working. I just didn't put it in something big enough to contain it fully, you know? Let me try to get a good view of the tip. Come on, there we go, look at that. Oh yeah, let's follow that. There we go. All right, we're heading to the final five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Five minutes. Let's see how this went. Whoa. As you can see, doesn't look atrocious. I'm just trying to get my finger in the, in the tip there. See how it's feeling. It looks solid in there now. Make sure it doesn't explode. Who knows what the molecules are doing with it. All right, <laughs> this seems like it was okay. It's really hot. I don't know if I just messed up my shaker cup or not, but Let's get the lid off, see how it goes. I might have to glove up even just for this. Yeah, there we go. This is interesting. I can't wait to see if we cracked the code and made the laziest pancakes of all time, or if this sucks and there's a reason that I haven't seen anyone do it yet. <laughs> Whoa. You know what? It's, this is just a big tube. So there's room on the sides, as you can kind of see around there. So when we do pour our maple syrup on it, it should go down nicely, trickling across the surface area. Let's grab this, pour it in. It's gonna trickle down the whole side. It's gonna be awesome. This beautiful Canadian maple syrup, oh yeah. Get that whole thing. Let's like fill it. Let's really just like waterlog it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. It looks pancakey. It's not burnt. There's no plastic in it, from what I can tell from the cup melting. Let's try it. All right. <laughs> Let's give it a try. This will be very, very, very interesting. If this works, two, two routes we can go down. We can add protein even more into it and it will be awesome. And another way we could go, add some chocolate chips because I totally forgot about that. But let's just grab a little piece and see how it is. It's a little spongy. It's kind of, this tube's actually quite hollow. If I can get this out, there we go. Uh, it's looking very dry. <laughs> you kind of see all the holes in it. But let's just see how it tastes. Very dry. Not very good. <laughs> 